Welcome to our fifth video in the home personal finance series for QuickBooks, putting in expenses and vendors. Expenses are things you pay for. The vendors are the people whom you pay and they go on a different list and you need a list for both. For example, FedEx and UPS are both vendors. They are the people whom you pay for the service. But delivery expense is the service that you pay them for, so delivery expense goes as an account in your chart of accounts. Anything that goes in your chart of accounts is something that you need a record of. So it doesn't matter if you pay FedEx or UPS. What matters is in the chart of accounts, you have an account, which is a set of records for every time you paid for delivery, regardless of whom you paid. Here is a list of all of Joe Schmo's Joe typical home expenses. And here are all the vendors that provide those services for Joe. Notice that some of them are duplicated because you could have two vendors for one expense. And you, uh, like, like for delivery, you could have UPS and FedEx. And notice for your mortgage, both interest and principal, Chase Bank is the vendor in both of those cases. If we separate the expenses and make a separate list, these are the names of the expenses that will go in the chart of accounts. They go in the chart of accounts with the accounts from the previous video because each one will be a separate record. This way you know the total that you paid for each expense regardless of whom you paid. We can now use the shortcut to open the chart of accounts. Then of course all we have to do is read off the list of accounts that we have in the previous uh, okay so the first one is delivery expense so click account new and the type will be expense when we click continue expense is already chosen as the type in the chart of accounts and for this entire section you can leave expense type because all of these count as expenses all we have to do is put in the name delivery expense okay uh, let's make sure it's with no typo expense save and new what's the next one on the list vet bills vet bills for our beloved pet save and new notice each time you click save and new the account gets added to the chart of accounts let's put in a few more expenses what about electric expense telephone expense so you would type electric oh don't make a typo electric expense save and new and you will type telephone expense and save and new and what else some people like to separate the mortgage into principal and interest so one can be mortgage and you will learn later in a future video how to calculate that. Mort, Gedge, save and new. And then you can put interest expense, save and new. And the last expense will be bank fees for things like the monthly service fee from your bank or some charges they might have charged you. Bank fees. Click Save and Close, and now we've put in all of Joe's expenses. If Joe is operating as an individual and suddenly comes across a new expense, he would add the new expense the same way we just added the others. And now let's put your vendors on the vendor list. I'll simply move the list aside, and I'll show you that the vendor center you can open from the main menu vendor and the top choice is vendor center since you will work with this on a regular basis it's a good idea to add this to the icon bar view add vendor center to the icon bar then click OK 
and then in the future you can just click this. Notice there's no one on the list. The first couple of vendors we can add one at a time and then I'll show you how you can add several at once. To add them one at a time click new vendor, new vendor and the new vendor window opens up. For most individuals you only have to type in the name and click save and new. For example, you can type U P S and then if you click OK you notice UPS has been added to the list. If you need to edit any UPS information you can double click and you come back to a window that looks very similar except it says edit vendor and here you could type in their address if necessary you can type in a phone number if necessary you can type in an email address if necessary and so on and once you save it this list can be a little Rolodex of all the people whom you pay if you wish to add several at once you can click new vendor add multiple vendors and this window opens up then you can just add them down the line and put in more information about them as you do it. This is in grid format if you're adding several at once. So for example, FedEx, you would click here. And again, you can just close out the little QuickBooks time-saving tip and type in FedEx. If you choose to put in more details, such as their phone number or their email, you would just scroll across and put it in the same row. It's the same thing as putting it the way we did before, except here you can put several at once. What about Dr. Kirk, our veterinarian? Dr. Kirk. Who's next on the list? Con Edison. You can click Con Edison. In New York, those are the people you pay for your electric expense. AT&T and Verizon. AT&T. And then the next one is Verizon. Usually individuals don't need any additional information about those whom they pay. But you can put them here. If we click Save the Changes and then click OK, we can close the Add Multiple Vendor and you can see if you click here, you'll get all the information about AT&T. If you click here, you'll get all the information about UPS. And again, if you want to add or change any information about a vendor, you can double click and just type it in. So if we type in a phone number for AT&T and click OK, now that phone number will show up here when we click on it in the vendor list. There's only two other vendors left because you do have to have your banks added to your vendor list because there are times that you pay them for services. Let's add the banks the old-fashioned way, one at a time. New vendor, Chase Bank. You might want to put in a phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Click OK. Now Chase Bank is on the list. Here's their phone number. AT&T, you would click here and get their phone number and so on. So the only other vendor to put is M&T Bank, M&T Bank. And now you have put in all of the vendors on the vendor list. You put in all the expenses you pay on the chart of accounts. And you're ready for the final step for setting up your file.